I normally invest heavily on my animal because every coin I get from my animals, half of it go back to the animal and half of it goes to my family. If I had no animals, by now I could be stuck. I could not be educating my children, I could not be supporting my family and all that. The cows, we have had them, you know, we've been born and uh, it's all our life and uh, we, we've grown up, you know, having cattle and this is the reason we have, we love them, it's, uh, you know, our living. So that is why we, we, we like them and we enjoy, you know, looking after them. I get um, a lot of problems, especially for diseases, for example, like East Coast fever. Uh, maybe 50 cows would uh, uh, give birth and maybe all the calves die because of uh, this disease. Uh, enough of you have the problems facing the Maasai community uh, in life of keeping the very many. First, we don't have sufficient we don't have market. Uh, secondly, we have drought due to the, the situation of our area. And at the same time, we have all these problems of diseases. Last year, I had about 150 chicken, and they were about three, three to four months of age and they got there and that is this. About eight or oh, they died before I get the doctor. Ah, it affects us very much. We feel very bad because my family, we are all looking for that in me to get something from there. And if they get a disease or if they die, we just lose. My livestock mean a lot. I have lost uh, chicken due to disease. Uh, some of them die uh, when they are not properly vaccinated. Uh, it's a terrible experience when you see your chicken dying and uh, you try all you can by buying medicine, but it's, it's an awful experience. You feel the loss and you feel like giving up the whole project, but you, feel, you find yourself going back to it because you don't have any other source of income or job. Farmers who keep chicken have a very proper, big problem in giving their chicken vaccines to, to protect them from disease. Uh, for one, these vaccines are supposed to be put under refrigeration. And most uh, of the local farmers don't have these refrigerators. And uh, we do not have these vaccines in uh, most of the local markets. So when a farmer buys a vaccine from a freezer somewhere in town, it's so difficult to transport it to the farm. The research companies need actually to bring us everything closer. Like uh, if there is a way of uh, having a, you know, coolers that can cool this uh, medicine that needs to be uh, uh, used immediately, and then we should have a way that this medicine has to be cooled down or it has to come and we, we will be able to vaccinate their cows on time. My cows are very important because they are pushing us on giving us money from them get milk from them, they are pushing us, yeah, they are useful for us. Uh, you know, we don't keep livestock as pets, we, we keep them as something which contributes to your economy. So I think it will be so hard if you live without animals.